Are you like me, impatiently waiting for our Teslas to receive the Park Assist update? Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to track it, where it is, and how to maybe even get it quicker. Now, in my last video, I did go over briefly about Tesla Vision and what exactly it was. So to people that don't own a 2023 Tesla Model 3 or Y, this video might not be for you unless you're looking to possibly get one in the future. But to explain exactly what I'm waiting for, what Tesla Vision is, is the replacement of the ultrasonic sensors that all Teslas have had since Tesla's ever been around. But unfortunately, when we did take delivery of the 2023 Tesla Model 3, we did not get the Tesla ultrasonic sensors, but camera based around the whole vehicle, therefore not allowing me to have park assist, summon, auto park, all those features that do come with Teslas. But literally a day after I posted my last video, Tesla announced that there will be a rollout of the new Tesla Vision update right now. Now the way Tesla releases their software updates is not like a smartphone. Not everybody gets it at the same time. They kind of plant seeds here and there. They make sure that the update is working to the people they planted the seeds on. And then as soon as the update arrives to a few people throughout the world and it seems to be working well, Tesla pushes another updates more vehicles at a time. But the way they do it is, is not like a software update on our cell phones where we get it all at the same time we're like a video game we all have to kind of just patiently wait for our turn to come yeah it's, that's just kind of how teslas work the reason they do it this way is that way they don't overload their servers that way they can see if their update is working to the people that have received the update and then three making sure that every car gets the update properly instead of just rolling it out all at once so i have found a website ironically called not a tesla app it's not the tesla app but it is a website where you can actually track who has the update right now how many percent of people have this update on those vehicles and when we'll possibly be getting our vehicle update and a lot more so i'm going to kind of go over that in today's video and then at the end I'll have a like a little tutorial on some things that you might be able to do in your actual Tesla itself to maybe force the update to come through. But just to let you guys know, I have yet to receive my update just yet and I'm just a consumer. I'm not a professional uh, by any means. I'm just trying to, you know, get my Tesla update just like everyone else here. All right, moving into this website right here. Like I said, it is called Not A Tesla App, so very creative. This is where you're going to be able to see not only Tesla Vision's update, but future updates to come for FSD, whenever a new holiday update comes out. Whatever update comes out on Tesla, this is they have a way of tracking everything. To start with today, this is the popular ones today. We have the new FSD beta that came out today, which I actually, my grandpa just got today. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for 20. 2023.6.9 this is going to be tesla's park assist slash tesla visions update right here this right here actually shows you how many cars currently in the world have the update which is not much only six percent of people have gotten the update i've been looking at this every single day and today has been the least amount of downloads for some reason to come there's only been 29 people that have gotten the update today so it's a little annoying I'm not quite sure exactly why it's taking so long I've talked to some people I know that actually work for Tesla that also are waiting for the update that yet to see it so anyways another way you can also take a little bit more statistics on it is clicking this button right here and then you'll actually be able to see a graph of how how many updates have been pushed through since the release of the update back on the 23rd and as you can see we started the 24th with 93 installs 156 installs on march 25th going all the way to then it goes to 41 but we're at 283 total then we go up and we go to march 28th we got 197 installs making it almost 500 installs then we spike up to we got 254 installs on march 30th which was just a few days ago and then we go all the way up here, a thousand installs, but unfortunately only 28 people on April 1st. I don't know if this is an April Fool's joke or what's going on, but since April started, we have seen a slight decrease in installs every day. The last two days of April, we've only seen a total of 50 people getting this update. So it's a little concerning, nothing to worry about. I know for a fact that we will actually get this update, but just to show you from a different update, that's not Park Assist to kind of show you how it normally goes. 
Um, as you can see today, this bugs, bug fix update that came out already has 38% people getting this update. So I'm not quite sure why this one has taken so long to get. So this is the not a Tesla app website that I do recommend going to to just kind of get an update on exactly what is going on and when we're going to get this. I'd say check back every every 12 hours if you could. Um, that'll give you the best time period of when we might get it. But for Tesla Vision, you're looking for the one that start, uh, released March 23rd, 2023.6.9. That is the update we're looking for. Uh, I have seen a lot of people tend to, once it hits 10%, it tends to hit a lot of people pretty quickly. So we're pretty close to 10%. We got a little bit more to go and hopefully shortly we'll see this happening. Anyways, moving back into the Tesla itself, I'm going to now show you guys a couple tricks to possibly get this update forced into your car. First things first, you're going to want to click on this little car icon at the bottom here. This is, if you guys don't know already, this is the menu of where everything, all the settings and stuff in that nature is going to be for your vehicle. So what we're going to do is actually go to software. You will see the software update I am currently on is 2023.2.12. And if we're going to go back to the website, we can actually see what the release notes were or check on our car. Just to show you what this was, uh, it was just some minor bug fixes. The last major uh, update I had was about uh, the sentry mode lighting and the auto steering, uh, heated steering wheel. So as you can see, I have yet to get the park assist update. But anyways, going back to software, you're going to notice there are two options here. There is a standard and advanced mode. Standard basically means that hey, you'll get the update eventually but it'll take some time. But if you'd like to see what advanced means, select advanced if you'd like Moonberry to receive new software updates as soon as they become available for its configuration. Note, the latest software version will vary based on vehicle configurations, including hardware and geography. But what this allows to happen is more of a fast way to push to get advanced, uh, to get your update quicker. Now, I have seen some people online doing a couple goofy things, and this is the first technique I'd recommend you guys to try. It has not worked for me, but I have seen it work for a lot of people. You're going to want to go from standard to advanced, standard to advanced, and therefore just keep on going. Just a whole bunch eventually uh you can stop i always say just go about 15 times and then you can stop and then from there next thing i'd recommend you guys to just check and i'm and this might not be able to apply to everyone but if you guys have any sort of wi-fi hence if you're watching this video right now and it's not through your tesla i'd recommend to go and connect to a home wi-fi if possible you just click on the top right here you'd be able to select home wi-fi and that it'll work just like so having a home network connection is actually recommended to be able to get your car in update now it's not required, but it is recommended to be at a more stable network connection. Um, it, maybe if you're at work and you have a Wi-Fi you can connect to there that's not private, I'd recommend doing so as well. Or just driving to your local Starbucks and connecting to their Wi-Fi might actually give you the update it's well, as well. The next thing I'm actually gonna show you what to possibly have happen, and I'm gonna do it as we're in the car together right now, is we're going to actually restart the computer itself. Don't worry, this doesn't affect anything. Um, it's just like re restarting a cell phone. It's not going to break your car. It's actually good to do once in a while as I've had times where certain glitches has happened where the screen becomes unresponsive. That has happened only once um, and it was while I was driving I wasn't able to move the navigation around. So being able to actually restart your computer, I say once a month, might actually be a good thing as it refreshes things in that data space. Now I do recommend if you're going to do this i say park if you're or or be somewhere that you're comfortable maybe being for a little bit but this shouldn't take more than two minutes so what you're going to want to do here is you're going to click on both of these joysticks here uh, both square wheels at the same time for about five seconds and you'll notice that the tesla will actually go black so like i said click on both square wheels at the same time for about 10 seconds 
and then the screen will go black and you can let go and when once the screen goes black you're going to notice eventually it'll turn back on and show the Tesla logo um, it doesn't take long at all as you can see um, because of the fact that we have a Ryzen chip in the new Tesla Model 3 uh, 2023 models and model wise uh, they should allow you to be able to get this car rebooted within about 45 seconds so uh, sometimes it's longer sometimes it's not but again, as you can see, some of the, the lights still don't uh, turn off. The car is actually fully functional. You just won't be able to see a speedometer or anything like that. So, all right, so now we're back. And what we're going to do now is just check for a software update. I'm gonna pause the music there. I like to let it load for a second, even though it's loaded. You know, you wanna be, you wanna be slow with computers once in a while because you never know. Uh, so I was just to see if it's connected back to my home network. I'm going to go back to a software setting and then what I'm going to do is check here. Boom, 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 boom. And then as you can see, I'm still not getting the update I, or I would be very excited right now. Um, so yeah, unfortunately it's one of those things where sometimes you will get this update. Sometimes you just have to kind of be patient like the rest of us and, and hopefully soon we'll be able to all get the update together. But hey, that's the end of this video today. I'll have another Tesla video coming out very shortly here. I had a couple people in my last video ask me to make a video in regards to teaching you guys some cool software features that maybe you didn't get a complete lesson about. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section on the Tesla Vision update. If you have received it, let me know if you did. Let me know when you do. And I will let you guys also know whenever I do as well. You guys take care and let's move forward into the sustainable energy we call our future.